Welcome to LFA's guide on adjusting your RTP9 feed frame. Knowing how to calibrate your feed frame is critical to the good running of the press. If your feed frame isn't calibrated correctly, you may have excessive formulation across the turret table and die faces. Before we start, we need to loosen the bolts on the feeder tray fitting parts with a 5mm Allen key so the upper part can move freely. Next using a feeler gauge, using setting 0.15mm, rest it on the turret table and place the feed frame on top of it and into position. Now replace the two feeder tray thumb bolts by hand. As you're tightening, you'll notice it slightly pulls the lower section of the feeder tray fittings upwards. Whilst doing this, constantly using the feeler gauges to ensure there's some movement. It will feel tight, but this is normal. Now we can tighten the feeder tray fitting parts again with a 5mm Allen key. Once complete, again, use your feeler gauge around the feed tray from different angles. If you find you're losing an excessive amount of formulation onto the die table, we can use a lower setting on the feeler gauge. It's important to do this in small increments. If the feed tray is too close to the die table, it will wear the brass part on the feed tray very fast. If your feed tray is worn, LFA does sell replacements, which can be found in the description below. Now we need to replace the tablet takeoff blade. Using the two screws, we need to ensure the formulation can pass under it, but a tablet can't. A general rule would be to mount it at one third of your tablet height. If your tablet is three millimeters thick, you should mount your tablet takeoff blade at one millimeter. Now replace the scraper blade. This scrapes excess powder off the die face. Whilst installing it with the two screws, press down the scraper blade against the turret table firmly to ensure it's tight. For more information, products and guides, please visit www.lfatabletpresses.com.